In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crop to get better render views, uh, both in your viewport as well as your camera. So let's start with the viewport over here. Let's switch to our render view. Now, one thing you'll notice when you switch to render view, it takes a little while to load up. And if my scene was bigger, it would take even longer. But let's say I don't really want to wait for everything to get done. I just want to see how this area looks over here. So I can press Control-B and drag the mouse open like that and release. Now this will be the only place it renders because it's the only place the path tracing samples renders a lot faster so you have a much better idea sooner. Now let's say I don't want to render this whole thing and if you want to remove this you can press Control alt b and it takes you back to this view. Let's go back into a different view quickly, our um, what you call it materials view whatever it's called. Now let's quickly go to, oh I should actually change to a solid view. All right, just, I'm going to switch to solid view and let's quickly take a look at this over here and we switch this to the render view and we can zoom in and let's say we don't really want to render this whole thing. We just want to see how this carrot nose and pipe looks. So we can press control B and we can select this specific area here and now we only see that. Now if we're holding our middle mouse button, we can turn around and see how everything looks. And it doesn't really help with the camera, so let's go back into the camera. But if you press G to, uh, to move the camera, let's first select the camera. You'll be only rendering whatever spot you choose. So let's say you only want to render that. Now, when you go to render, one thing you'll notice off the bat, well, let's first go to our output settings over here, which is over here, output properties. Now, if we don't have this selected, uh, we we should let's just check. We would be rendering the whole image. So if we're going to render image, this whole image of the thing will be rendered, which I'll stop right now. However, if we keep this ticked, we will only render this section. So we render image, and you can see it's nice and neat. It's already cropped. But I'm going to just stop there. And there is one more thing. We can also crop it to this render viewport so that we don't have all this empty space when the render is done. And we click render image. Now it will only be that rendered space with no empty space, basically. And it's that simple. But this is really effective when you're working in Eevee or if you're working in, um, what do you call it, cycles. And you're working on a scene and you're just trying to see how these buttons look in particular. Um, we'll change to your render settings. You'll press control B. And let's say you want to see how these buttons look because you don't want to wait for the, for the whole thing to load. You just want to see the buttons. Let's just zoom in. And you can see it's a lot faster to see how this will look in real time. So that's a little tip. Hopefully that helps. And you, yeah, wish you all the best.